Hi guys, Dan the bodybuilder from Thailand here. So I wanted to talk to you guys right before I have a hot dog with no bun. I wanted to talk to you guys about testosterone and its effect on your appetite. So there's a few anabolic steroids that have quite a strong effect on your blood sugar. And so one of them is testosterone and it probably has the most potent effect on your blood sugar in general. Um, Basically, when you are using a high dosage of testosterone, you will feel compelled to eat, okay? It makes you feel compelled to eat. Um, you need food now, and you must have it, and you will get it before anything else happens. High dosages of testosterone make you feel like that. They make you feel more desperate for food. Um, whereas other steroids do not so i just started taking testosterone again like i've said previously i um i go periods where sometimes i cruise or sometimes i just don't take anything so i had been cruising for 12 weeks no steroids just 250 milligrams of uh, testosterone for trt and 500 iu hcg for 12 weeks and then i started taking some sarms and I started taking some Winstrol, and I started taking some oral Torinabol. And when I did that, I dropped the testosterone out completely for about three weeks. And uh, my appetite, um, I've already noticed this in previous times, but then this reminded me of this again. Um, this time when I dropped out the testosterone, I was reminded again, wow, my appetite, or not even like my appetite, but just like my need to have food consistently throughout the day, my testosterone it gives you this need where you are like I am going to have food and there's no other options everything stops until you have food but this doesn't happen like with like Winstraw or Turinabol or Primobolin or Anadrol or Dianabol or Deca, Equipoids. it's kinda kinda but not like this not in the same kind of way people say like oh equipoise increases my appetite yeah it does but there's a specific effect that testosterone has and you know what there are other steroids that have this too like such as trenbolone and superdraw they those testosterone trenbolone and superdraw will all affect your blood sugar in a way that will change your life because you will be going throughout your day and it will be non-negotiable. You cannot ignore the needing for food immediately, now, before anything else happens. So, Superdrol and Trenbolone have a more extreme and quick effect on your blood sugar like that, where you will feel a blood sugar crash, you'll start shaking, um, and you will feel like complete shit until you get sugar in you, actual sugar. Okay, and testosterone is more like it doesn't need to be sugar so much. It just is like anything like you just need to eat. You need food now. Um, so these are really, you know, because these kind of effects can't be quantified. They're not scientific and they can't be quantified. I can't tell you about these effects and uh, then, you know, show you like lab results or scientists can't study them and say, you know, like this is the way it is. Although this isn't just me that's saying it like this. The reason I'm making this video and I'm telling you guys this is because this has been me accumulating this data through everybody that I know that uses steroids and everybody, all my friends, everybody that I know. Um, this is, I'm telling you guys this stuff because we all experience these effects. We all experience these effects. So like I said, the ones that really will crash your blood sugar and basically give you hypoglycemia at random times during the day are Trenbolone and Superdrol. But then testosterone has this different effect where it makes you feel like you must have food and everything has to stop. It doesn't matter if it's carbs or not, it's just food in general, okay? So everything has to stop until you get that. It'll, it'll give you those, that feeling throughout the day, like, like randomly, okay? It's not a 24 hours a day feeling, but if you don't eat, like if you say fast, if you start fasting and you then add in a large dose of injectable testosterone, 
okay, that's really going to screw up your fasting. That is really going to screw up your fasting because it's going to give you these, it's almost like a sex drive feeling where it's a feeling you can't ignore, okay? It comes in and and it basically takes over your mind until, until you stop uh, whatever the problem is. And so in this case, eating. So if you're fasting and you've got high dosages of testosterone running through you, injectable testosterone, there, there will be a feeling that comes over you that you cannot ignore and, and it will demand that you eat um, and it will not go away until you do not. And then there are the other steroids like Trenbolone and Superdraw that demand specifically carbohydrates uh, and, and will make you, it's less in your mind with those and more in your body with those where you will physically be shaking and you will physically feel like you're in a living hell until you have those carbohydrates. Uh, with testosterone, it's more of like a, a sex drive type feeling where, where it's like this constant gnawing of like, I must, if you've been restricting your food, it's, it's like, a, like, I must have food and nothing can happen until that goes away. Like, it, like taking over your consciousness, like where it's consuming your conscious thoughts and you are struggling so hard and trying to get those out but it just keeps on coming, coming. <laughs> you guys, this sounds like weird stuff, but I'm sharing it with you because this is how it is in the real world. This is how it is in the real world. You will never hear this kind of stuff. But when somebody actually who actually uses these things can tell you these anecdotal effects um, of the way that it actually works when, for re real humans in the real world, this is the effects that they're getting from these uh, from these hormones, and like I said, it's not just me; it's it's everybody that I know. So, testosterone has a very interesting effect on food. When I was doing just the the SARMs, the Terinabol, and the Winstrol, I didn't need to eat if I don't want to, and just I don't I don't want food or something like that, and I wouldn't have to eat. But then it reminded me, as soon as I put in the testosterone again, bam! I have to eat. I have to eat, dude. I have to eat. <laughs> so, that's pretty interesting. It's very, very powerful, very powerful effect of testosterone on eat drive, eat drive, food drive. <laughs>